What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Manufactured Opinion here and welcome back to my Dragon's Dogma playthrough slash guide and today I'm just bringing you a really quick video of a loot drop off the online Ur Dragon after the final killing blow and if you were one of the few to watch the earlier version of this video you know that it did not have any commentary but if you have been following my channel for any length of time you know that I take comments and criticisms very seriously I know a lot of YouTubers say that but I'm actually 100% sincere when I say that I'm always looking for ways to provide you better quality content easier to follow guides with better helpful tips. So with that being said, one of the comments in the earlier version of this video was, why isn't there any commentary? And to be completely honest, the mindset that I was in um, going through the earlier version was, well, this is just a loot drop. It's just some items. There's not really anything I can say that you don't already know. But this game hasn't even been out for three weeks yet. A lot of people haven't even gotten the game. Um, a lot of people haven't even gotten to the Ur Dragon, and there is some differences between the online and the offline version, and whether you get the killing blow on the online version or not. So a commentary is definitely warranted in this situation. You've heard me say in earlier videos that I don't want to half-ass anything, so that's definitely the case with this video. Thank you for that comment, sir. Um, I'm not going to disclose your name on the interwebs because people feel differently about that, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Thank you again. So anyways, let's get to the good stuff. Um... Like I said, this is an online version kill with the final killing blow, and I'm actually just going to go through the items that you can get on each version. We'll go through the offline version first. The only thing you can get from the offline version is the Ascalon Sword, the Heaven's Keys Daggers, and the Volant White Staff. Now, I've seen different reports that if you kill the offline version enough times, your chances of getting some of the stuff that drops off the online version increases. I haven't been able to test that out yet, but I'm pretty sure that's just a rumor, so don't, so don't bank that one. And off the online version, the Abyssinal Armor, the Angel's Fists, the Lambent Shield, the Lustrous Great Shield, Siegfried's Mask, St. George's Mask, Beowulf Mask, Apollo Mask, and Totem Mace. Now, for, uh, I just want to talk about the masks for a second. I've also seen conflicting reports that if you are able to get the final blow on the online version, you're able to get the masks. Other than that, you can't get the masks. Um, usually, it's decided on how much damage you do, do to the online version. Um, so if you can't get the, the killing blow, uh, the loot will be decided by how much damage you to it, did to it. So that is that. Um, as you see in this video, I got the Abyssinal Armor, the Angel's Fist, the Lambent Shield, Apollo Mask, and Totem Mace. So that's that. Uh, I hope you guys found this at least somewhat helpful in the short amount of time I had. Like I said, criticisms and comments are always welcome. And I'm actually just going through my armor right here. I'm going to go get that Dragon Forged. So I will talk to you later, everybody. Bye-bye.